Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am outside the John Snow pub in London. So, who was John Snow who's lent his name to this public house? Well, he was a doctor um, in the mid 19th century, and here we are in Soho, which was not a salubrious area of London at the time. Indeed, it's the red light district even to this day, not this particular street of it though. This was Broad, Broad Street, it's now called Broadwick Street. And if this was, street was broad, it gives you an indication of how narrow the lanes were around here. So there was a, a labyrinth of uh, tenements of rackety housing, often um, very damp, it was rat infested. The um, public uh, sanitation system couldn't cope. There was a lot of sewage, people were just throwing their waste into the street. Remember, it was horse-borne transport, so a lot of horse cobblers in the street, rotten food to attract rats and things like that. Anyway, there was an outbreak of cholera and hundreds of people died in, of cholera here over a few months. So Dr. Snow thought, well, what is the cause of this? Um, and he started to plot the deaths on a map, a red cross. Um, and they were all over London, but particularly heavily concentrated in this area. And then when looking at it on the map, he discovered where these people lived. And they were clustered around this very crossroads because there was a, a water pump here. Remember, people didn't have flowing water to go to a pump with a bucket and pump the water up for um, drinking and indeed their ablutions, as well as washing pots and pans, washing clothes, all done by hand. And he figured out it must be, there must be a link between that water pump and cholera. So he had the pump locked so people couldn't get water from there. There was one case, someone living in North London, several miles away, and she died of cholera at this time. But then he discovered that she'd visited this area, taken, uh, filled a bottle with water from here and then gone there. So John Snow, who was instrumental in establishing public health, uh, as a field with a proper scientific study. Um, so that's it, the Broad Street pump case, but it's now called Broadwick Street there. So go into this ale house here and discover more about him and things on the walls were memorialized. Unfortunately, Dr. Snow did not live long afterwards and he died in 1858 at the age of only 45.